Hey, welcome to Kate's Crafts. I'm Kate. Today I would like to share with you a simple Animal Crossing inspired birthday card I made for my niece this week. Let's get started. Here I have Distress Oxide in Tumbled Glass and I am using a Cloud Stencil by Recollections, uh, which is a Michaels brand, I believe. And I'm just going back and forth to kind of get an idea of what I want for the clouds. I think the stencil is really neat because it has all four sides of it that have these little puffy bumps that you can use. Uh, it's my only cloud stencil. Uh, sometimes I use the Lawn Fawn Thought Bubble stencil uh, when I forget that I actually have a proper cloud stencil. Uh, this one kind of always sits at the back of my stencil stash because Lawn Fawn has kind of overtaken the real estate that I have to store stamps, dies, and stencils. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about the bottom part of this because it'll get covered up and uh, you'll see in a minute here. So I have the Village Hero stamp set that I've taken the school from and I have masked off the part of the bell and I left a little stack there to put a chimney and this is how I'm going to create my house. I do not have any of the house stamp sets so I had to make do with what I had and I thought well I, I enjoy stamp masking but I don't enjoy fussy cutting so I thought I'd fandangle and finesse a little bit here to create my house. So I'm um, going back and forth with the colors until I'm satisfied. And um, you'll see here in a minute how I do the, the little roof. Um, well, not the roof, the chimney, sorry. I'm just taking a little bit of that E29 and creating a little top. And then uh, I go back in with E25 to kind of blend that out. And then I take a Sharpie pen and I go around the edges to create that little black stamped border, if you will. And here's my least favorite part. I do not like fussy cutting. I uh, never seem to get it right, but it'll make do. I never did use that... Uh, raccoon. I was going to do Tom Nook, but I just kind of wasn't feeling the position of the raccoon, and I probably would have had to have stamp masked it a little bit just to kind of get what I wanted, and at that point I figured I didn't want to put too much on the front of the card. So here I've got some the party pig and the joy to all uh, presents, and setting those aside. I used my Cricut to cut out the tree and the balloon, and with the balloon I didn't particularly like the color that I had originally laid down, so I went over with the blue. Um, here I've taken the tree that I've cut out and I've already colored. Um, I didn't put the coloring on screen for the tree because I wasn't paying attention to my frame when I zoomed in for coloring and um, kind of cut half of it off. and. I figured that'd probably annoy most people if I had left it in and you could only see half of the coloring. So here I've used a piece of tape and I'm just creating a flap so I could glue it down properly and um, let it sit aside for a little bit. But this is kind of the tree that I used from the game to kind of inspire the card. And uh, I did the oranges too, but... I wasn't too particularly happy with them. Here I'm taking my Sharpie pencil, pen, sorry, and I'm going around to create hair for the character Peggy from the Animal Crossing game. Uh, it's kind of a funny story. I was always visiting a particular friend's island and eventually when one of my little characters moved out of my island, Peggy randomly moved in, and when my friend Slip stopped playing Animal Crossing, I, I didn't have the heart to kick her off my island. Um, if you've played Animal Crossing, you, you 
tend to become part and partial to certain characters in the game that you just, you have to have on your island. Um, some of my family don't understand the obsession with it, but it's a really great game. So now that I've got the, the hair and stuff done, she kind of comes together. And uh, I don't know, Peggy was just really a cute character. They have a lot of cute characters in there. My niece's particular character is the uh, the unicorn one, Julian. I'd had him on my island for a while there, and when it was time to get a new one, I was sure to make sure to send him her way, and she was quite thrilled with him. Uh, I think she still has him on her island. I don't know, do you guys play Animal Crossing? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe we could be friends. I'd like that. So here she's just got a cute little pink nose and now that I've got her done, I'm going to add the oranges. Um, I wasn't too pleased with these oranges and I ended up going over them again after I've glued them later on and I ended up putting like these holographic glossy stickers on top. So here I've got the, I used a Hilsta slimline stitched border hill dye. And I cut out this pattern paper that I have, and this is actually what inspired me to do the card because the ground or the grass in the game kind of looks like this pattern paper. And uh, when I was looking for an idea to make for my niece's birthday card, I thought, well, what a great idea it would be to do Animal Crossing. So here I'm taking Peggy's little hands and I'm cutting them so that I can fit the the present in the um, into her little hooves or paws or whatever you call I think it's hooves that pigs have or hooves and uh, I like to think that maybe she's she's going to Julian's house for his birthday party or you know maybe my niece is there in game and she's enjoying her birthday party so here I'm just fussing with that and I'm going to be able to slip that present in and make it look like she's holding it. So I'm just bending up the arms a little bit and putting down a little little dab of glue and I'll slide that in with my reverse tweezers here. And there you have it. She's holding her little present to go to her friend's house. And now I'm going to take my little balloon and I'm going to glue it down. Um, these are just simple shapes that I used in Cricut Design Space to create uh, the balloon and the tree and the tree trunk and the orange. Um, it's nothing too substantial if you just kind of Google what the tree is or if you have it in, on, on your Nintendo and you're looking at it. Um, they're pretty simple to put together. And it's just the shading that I did with the alcohol markers to kind of give it the idea of the texture of the tree. And here we have little Peggy hanging out with her birthday present on her way to Julian's house to wish my niece a happy birthday, I guess. Um, in the game, they have these little floating balloon presents that you could use a slingshot to pop. And I thought, oh, maybe the game was bringing another present for her. So here I have the happy birthday stamp from, um, I believe it was the offset sentiment stamps that I have by Lawn Fawn. And I'm going to heat emboss that in some WOW um, clear sparkle embossing powder to kind of give it a little bit of a zhuzhed up effect, if you will. Um, I'm going to use uh, my black... Um, my favorite things ink and I'm going to use a powder tool here to make sure that I don't get it all over the place. So once I've got that stamped up, I'm going to dump the heat embossing powder on it. And you can see here what it looks like while it's still wet. So I put that back in the jar and I'm careful to put the lid on so I don't spill it. And here I've got my heat embossing tool and I'm just going to go back and forth to make sure that that melts nice and even. I love this part. It's like magic. 
So once I've got that done, here I'm going to go back in and kind of match up my oranges here with these stickers. I used these in a previous card that uh, I had. And I thought, well, you know, these would probably fit perfect since I don't really much like the oranges that I originally put in the card. So I'm going to put a little glob of doo, glue down. Glob of doo. <laughs> glob of doo down. And uh, so that they, they stick nice for the mail and they don't fall off. So got that down and move that over a little bit and lifting that one up. Nope, that one over there. Yep, that one, not the other one. That one's too red. So once I've fiddled with that and got it down enough, I have myself an orange tree. Or at least that's what I think it is. So I decide that um, I'm going to go around with my 100 black Copic marker. I'd seen this on another YouTube video where um, the creator was going around the card with, uh, or the design with a black marker just to kind of give it a little bit of an edge. Uh, what this does um, just kind of gives it that little tiny detail. Whether or not you notice it is neither here nor there for me, but I kind of like the way it looked. But uh, once I've got that done, I'm just kind of going to give that green border a little bit with that. That's the YG06. Just to kind of create a line there. And here I have got some yellow cardstock that I cut. And the way that my cutter... Uh, cut it kind of made like a little jagged edge so I took a mono sand eraser to kind of file that down a little bit and here I've got some foam tape that I'm going to prop my panel up with and I'm just lining it up on itself and cutting pieces and a friend of mine told me to use my static powder tool to dust my scissors with and I think it worked rather nicely so here I am kind of cutting and thinking that worked nice. So once I've got a couple of those done up, I'm going to panel them on the back. So I'm going to rip off the back release tape and I'm going to line that up on the top of my card panel. And once that's even, all I have to do is put this on a card base and I can write my little sentiment inside. But first, I should probably use a jelly roll pen to give it a little more dimension. So I go around with the jelly roll white pen. I believe this is a 10 or an 8. I can't remember which one that I used for this. But I even go on the little stickers because, I don't know, it gives it a little more dimension. So I just go around the tree trunk and the little legs of the tree trunk and around the house leaving little dots and dashes it kind of just gives it a little bit of an extra doesn't make it look as plain so once I've got that down I'm going to go in with a glaze pen and I'm going to go over the windows I could use some some dimension glaze like from the little squidgy bottles but these are such little tiny areas that I figured maybe the glaze pen and clear would work. And I thought, well, why don't I just try it around the balloon, see how I like it there. But I ended up going over with some stickles and some glossy accents because I didn't quite like how the, um, the glaze turned out. I think the glaze pen is better for like little smaller areas than it is to go over a larger area. It doesn't give it quite um, quite an even uh, layer when you put that down. But if you've got like a little small area, it's, it's nothing that you really notice. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go in with a little puffy cloud to show that somebody's home. Because in the game, if the lights are on and there's a little puffy cloud coming out of the chimney, it means there's a character there and you should go stop in and say hello. So, 
And I thought, why not? And here I go over the balloon again with some, some stickles and the glitter. Because it's not really glittery in the game. But and I thought I'd give it a little oomph. Just to kind of make it look pretty. Because what little girl doesn't like sparkles? So once I've got that nice and filled... I uh, can't do enough of it. <laughs> there we go. So once I've got that all done, I can go back with the glaze pen. I think it is. I don't know. I'm off camera again. Yeah, this is the glaze pen. I gotta learn to set boundaries because sometimes I go right off camera when I get so excited about making cards. I'm still learning how to do it all, but only a few in and I'm getting there. It's quite an interesting process, that's for sure. But I do like making cards and I do like sharing what I'm doing with you. Maybe I can inspire somebody and then they could show me what they make. So here I'm just taking a couple of little tiny gems and I'm going around and just putting them here and there. No rhyme, no reason. Um, and I just thought I'd add a little something because it's a little bare in spots and I didn't add a whole lot to the card. So there you have it. There's the finished card. If you enjoyed today's content or found it helpful, please give this video a like. I also welcome you to subscribe as I post weekly. Here's another video I think you might enjoy. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Take care.